all right guys hello hello peace love and light to you guys this is tasha with into the scorpio tarot guys i am back to bring you guys another general message peace love and light to each and every one of you if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by go ahead and hit that subscription button and become a part of my scorpio stinger family if you are returning hey girl hey hey boy hey thank you so much for all of your support the likes comments and subscribes all right guys so this is going to be a channel message reading i don't know for sure what is going to come out so please be sure to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay holy spirit show me what i need to see for scorpio Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. When I was shuffling the deck, guys, I seen adversity. So some of you guys could have been facing a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles in your life. Okay. Show me what I need to see. Thank you. All right. So we have peace. All right. So right now, a lot of you guys, you're just wanting peace in your life at this current moment. All right. So we have gratitude. Okay, so right now, a lot of you guys are just giving thanks to the universe for the blessings that you do have right now. So that's where you can receive new blessings to come in. Thank you. Tell me more. All right, so yeah, adversity. Yeah, so I've seen this card. So a lot of you guys, you have went through so many challenges. When you went through these different adversities, this taught you how to be more grateful about the things that you have. Be grateful for the peace of mind, the peace of soul that you do have. But you did face a lot of challenges within your life here. But all of these adversities were just a way to teach you how to be more grateful. You know, these were obstacles and challenges. They kind of built you, built your character as well. This was the only way that you learned. I feel like a lot of you guys, when you made mistakes or things happened within your life, this was a lesson to you and it built you up as a person. All right, so we have imagination. So... Some of you guys could have been in that Seven of Cups energy where you've been dreaming about maybe owning a, a nice car, a nice house, a perfect relationship, um, trying to use your imagination to get out of situations. You could have been using your creative aspect in your mind to kind of keep yourself in, at a more level energy, okay? Yeah, because some of you guys were in denial. You've been faced with a lot of fears. You may have been in denial about your relationship, in denial about your feelings, but I feel like now you guys are starting to recognize that hey it's okay to be sad it's okay to be angry fearful you know yeah yeah all right so let's clarify this let's see i think i am going to use this deck here holy spirit tell me about peace why is peace here for scorpio hmm. So I'm getting someone here could have been in a dream state with that imagination card. Hmm. You may have been having uh, vivid dreams as well. All right, but let's see. Let's take a look. Tell me about peace. Why is peace here for Scorpio? Clarify peace. And also with peace that talks about, you know, releasing negative energy, you know, just being of love and light for the divine. So we have the chariot card, but that came out in crossing energy. Cancer, tell me about peace. All right, so we have the emperor here in the reverse. So, hmm. One minute, let me get one more before I say anything. Emperor is Aries energy. Thank you okay seven of pentacles all right so hmm bottom of the deck the knight of swords hmm. i feel like you guys have received so much peace in your life since you may have found out that uh, it's kind of like you're feeling a peace of mind that maybe something or someone that you may have invested into was a bad investment this is some someone that abused their power, a father figure, a husband, or someone who's in divine masculine energy. This person was very disrespectful to you, possibly when they talk to you. Okay? Yeah. Someone here was very disrespectful. They were very rude to you. Someone who's in a masculine energy. They're very low vibrational. But this person was a waste of your time. 
and I feel like now you're trying to release all that negative energy from this person now with the chariot being crossing you're kind of in the energy should I move on should I not you're kind of in the middle of where whether you should move on from this person should you work it out but you know that this is a bad investment yeah whoever this was they were disrespectful the way they speak to you you're doing the best you can to heal from this betrayal from this painful ending yeah you realize at this current point you guys are not meant to be you're not in alignment with each other you're not equally yoked and you have withdrawn your energy from this person that was being a player so yeah someone was very much disrespecting their relationship and right now i feel like you're releasing anyone any toxic energy that's very negative towards you hmm It's kind of like you're having peace with releasing this person that was very narcissistic towards you. I'm getting this person could have been arrogant. It's like in your energy, you're like, should I go towards this person? Should I not? Should I try to make things work and move forward? Should I not? You're kind of in the middle. Yeah. I feel like your patience also running thin as well. Tell me about gratitude. So this first can be a uh, chariot, uh, cancer energy, or Aries. Hmm. Yeah, someone abused their power in your life. And now you're at peace. It's, it's kind of like you didn't know for sure whether you should move on with this person. But deep down inside, you feel as though this was a waste of investment, waste of time. You did not reap the benefits of what you put into this relationship. You felt played. Tell me about gratitude. Six of Wands. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me more about gratitude. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Give me one more for gratitude. Thank you. And we have the Six of Swords. So you guys are doing your best to move forward. You're grateful for the opportunity. You're thankful that you did get this experience. So now you're able to move forward successfully and heal. Yeah. Wow. Look at their king and queen of cups. This relationship also with the ten of wands. This relationship drained you a lot. You were very stressed out. And I feel like you shut off your feelings and emotions. You closed the door on this person because they were very manipulative towards you. Cold and distance. Thank you, spirit. Spirit said this is the truth here. Yeah. This relationship was too stressful. So you're coming out of rough waters into calmer waters, doing the best you can to heal. And I feel like once you leave this person, you're going straight into success, victory. You're going to be getting praises, congratulations that you got out of this situation. And with that gratitude, I feel like you guys are grateful that you were able to get out of this situation, that you were able to pull those sores out of your back and heal the best way you can to move forward to success. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about adversity so yeah so these challenges taught you a lot your character has grown you have grown as an individual since you may have separated from this person and was able to move forward doing the best you can to heal to tell your story so i feel as though you're thanking the universe for getting you out of this situation tell me about adversity why is adversity here all right, set yeah, seven of cups. You're facing reality of the situation. Yeah. You're definitely facing reality that this this wasn't worth it, but it taught you so much. It helped you grow as a person. Yeah. You grew as an individual. So these challenges, these adversities that you face, this was a way for you to learn more about yourself that you are strong, you are courageous. Because honestly, being grateful for what's going on right now helps you to bring in more blessings. So even though you faced a lot of um, challenges, obstacles in your life, reality is now starting to sink in now. Tell me more about adversity. This was not an easy role for you, but you got through it. You moved on. You moved out of it. You got yourself out of it. And I'm proud of you as well. You're grateful for your wins and you're grateful for your losses as well. 
the full card in the reverse aries energy so i'm getting you guys could have been dealing with the aries or possibly a cancer so with this full card in the seven of cups being in reverse i feel like honestly reality like i said reality is now starting to sink in with the situation that maybe you took a risk that you should not have taken and you may have been given more than what you have been receiving yeah you may have been given too much of yourself to this person but you learned your lesson and i feel as though you don't want to be this be this fool again you took a risk and this risk taught you a lot of lessons about yourself you know thank you ace of pentacles in the reverse yeah this was a missed opportunity i feel like this person missed an opportunity with you but maybe it wasn't your time to receive this blessing from the most high yet so reality is not sinking in hmm so i'm kind of getting that maybe you needed to learn this lesson and i feel like the universe held back the actual true blessing that was coming towards you you needed to get through this is what i'm getting this was like a stepping stone for you to see what's in the future with the tower card being here in the two of cups yeah and then we also have the three of cups here this wasn't meant to be this person that came into your life i feel like they came into your life as a stepping stone as a lesson this was a karmic energy that this was something that you needed to learn this relationship wasn't built off of a solid foundation it was a faulty foundation but i feel as though now you're trying to pick up the pieces do the best you can to get your life back in stability and and realize that hey you know all of this was the universe this was god this was your ancestors that had you to experience this no reconciliation, nothing. They had to break you and this person up. Yeah, your ancestors stepped in. Yeah, for you guys to leave this person out in the cold. I feel like your ancestors and spirit guys did not want you guys to come back together. You was not meant to reconcile with this person. Leave them out in the cold. Yeah. Get out of your head about this situation. No longer being stuck on this person. Yeah, this chapter needed to close. So this was actually a lesson for you. You came out victorious, no scratches. You were able to get out of the situation, move forward. So that's why I feel as though you're thankful for this life and all the opportunities that you got. So understand there are some lessons that come into your life to teach you. They may be painful, but this is a way to build your character as a person. This person who you had in your life, they wasn't meant to be in your life. This was only for a season. You invested, you put so much work into it and you got nothing out of it. That's because the person that you could have married or the person that you was with, this person was still learning lessons themselves. They wasn't ready to accept the role of being a divine masculine, male or female. They wasn't ready. And this is why with that chariot being sideways, you didn't know for sure how to take this. Should I move forward? Should I go back, try to work things out? But no, your ancestors took this person out of your life for a reason. They were protecting you to move forward. And only thing you can do now is be grateful. Take your time and heal. Don't rush the healing process. And in the end, you're going to be the one that's winning. Victory and success is yours. Yeah. Yeah. And on, honestly, this person was a fool. They missed the opportunity. They missed the blessing. You were the blessing. But spirit had to pull you back from this person. It was too much confusion. Too much chaos going on. You guys were not meant to repeat the cycle yeah all right last but not least tell me about imagination so i'm kind of getting you could have been in the seven of cups energy in the upright where you may have been living in a fantasy world some type of dream state you may have thoughts that you found the one it's kind of like you had the perfect relationship in your mind yeah another energy i just got reality is sitting in that this person is a fool they're a clown and they missed they messed up they missed an opportunity with you yeah but this was also a lesson for both of you guys tell me about imagination thank you queen of swords now i'm also getting another energy this person could have put you in some type of dream state false reality selling you a dream but i see that you guys are this queen of swords you said what you needed to say you were very direct yeah towards this person who was a playboy playgirl they wasn't ready for a commitment so now you're blocking them out of your life yeah 
the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Swords, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. All right. So we have the Moon and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Whatever secrets or feelings this person was hiding from you, they're now being revealed. But I also get this person was insecure within themselves. And that's why Spirit did not allow this person to have access to you again. They were selling you a dream. But you have your sword up. You are protecting your energy. You are defending yourself. Using head above heart. And now you're able to get rest. You're not able to get sleep. Where you're not waking up in the middle of the night. Crying, weeping over this person. Not having anxiety. Having fear. You're able to sleep. This person, they were doing this out of insecurity. They didn't know who they were as a person. Yeah, this is their justice. This is their karma. With this uh, Virgo energy here with the Hermit, I feel as though spirit is pushing you to get into the energy of soul searching. You need to learn more about yourself. You're needing to do research, study, withdraw your energy. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been taking some time to yourself a little bit more. While you're doing the soul searching and healing yourself, your, answer, your ancestors and spirit guides and angels are in the background calling justice upon the situation, balancing out the scales for you. While you rest and meditate, recover, spend time in solitude, yeah. And while you're in solitude, some things are now coming to the light. You could be going through a spiritual awakening as well. Yeah, this person does want to come back. Eight of Cups in the reverse, yeah. They don't want to fight anymore. They hoping that they can get a second chance, possibly forgiveness here. Because now you're single, independent, you're on your own. They see that you can do this all by yourself and that you really don't need them. Wow. Yeah. So I feel like spirit is separating you from this person. You can have your peace. Because all they did was sold you a dream. And now reality is starting to sink in. That this was something I had to learn from. Not to be a clown. Not to be a fool for someone who's not giving me anything. You know? This relationship wasn't a blessing from the most high. So this was a lesson that you had to learn. But it's okay, you know. Situations make you stronger. And you're coming out with no scratches, no bents, no anything. You're able to get out and be victorious and be successful. Yeah. All right, Scorpios. This is what I have for you. Peace, love, and light to all of you. So the signs I see here, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I do see Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries here as well, okay? All right. Guys, thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.